Welcome to the Virtually Connected, everybody. My name is Tim Sandy, and I'm a VMware Technical Partner Manager and Systems Engineer. In this session today, I'm going to do a Sales 101 overview of VMware's newly released Cloud Foundation. I'm going to talk to you about what Cloud Foundation is, what components make up Cloud Foundation, what can be added to the core Cloud Foundation suite, as well as all of the uh, benefits of what the Cloud Foundation suite can do for you. So without further ado, let's get started. So again, in this session, I'm going to be covering VMware's Cloud Foundation, and I'm going to do a Sales 101 overview. So let's get started. First off, I'm going to talk about a market overview, kind of um, what the market is seeing, what's driving our customers to go to the private cloud as well as the public cloud, and some of the uh, implementation challenges that they're facing related to this. So decisions are often driven by the requirements. The details differ from customer to customer, of course, based on those requirements, but some of the requirements are coming up over and over again that we're seeing. So some of these are that they're looking for simplicities. They're also looking for agility, scalability, and lower total cost of ownership. So those are pretty common in most organization and IT uh, departments for those organizations out there. That's pretty common. I think most of you would agree. In parallel to the current requirements, business faces a set of trends that is emerging, which shape the direction of IT overall, of course. And that is hyper-converged infrastructures, public clouds, network virtualization, developer and business shaping IT. So these requirements and trends cause several challenges, obviously, for the IT departments. And to respond to the ever-increasing demand for faster innovation, organizations are looking to shift to a more agile, service-orientated IT model that leverages both the private and the public clouds. A highly dynamic, agile, available, and programmatic compute, network, storage, and security services are no longer a business advantage, but are simply table stakes to remain competitive. So that's becoming the norm now for most businesses. While customers recognize the need to complete the journey to the hybrid cloud and to the Software Defined Data Center, or SDDC, they are faced with many of these significant challenges, such as how to manage and control diverse infrastructure, which creates operational complexity and removing cloud silos, improve security to face cybersecurity threats, deliver enterprise level SLAs to mission critical apps while keeping costs under control. Manage public cloud sprawl driven by those shadow IT departments, such as your developers. Manage risk and cost by avoiding vendor or cloud lock-in. Finally, to ensure compatibility with applications between the private and the public clouds. So let's take a look at the solution that VMware offers to customers who want to simplify the software-defined data center, SDDC, based type of private cloud deployment. So there are big opportunities for us to address customer needs and take advantage of key technology trends. We've introduced VMware Cloud Foundation. This is VMware's unified software-defined data center platform for the hybrid cloud. VMware Cloud Foundation brings together VMware's enterprise-grade compute, storage, and network virtualization into a natively integrated stack, which combines the hyper-converged software, which is vSphere plus Virtual SAN, with network virtualization using our NSX product. It simplifies operations through automated deployment and lifecycle management. Cloud Foundation can be consumed on-premise for private cloud deployments, and now for the first time, we can run it as a service in the public cloud, delivering a consistent operational experience across both environments. Cloud Foundation gives you the flexibility in choosing deployment options on-premise through qualified hardware vendors or as a service through third-party public cloud providers. VMware Cloud Foundation makes it possible for customers to benefit from the full power of VMware's market-leading software-defined data center stack, coupled with an enhanced operational efficiency across the private and private clouds. vSphere allows high server consolidation ratio while maximizing application uptime. 
virtual SAN or vSAN is the software driven architecture which allows the convergence of physical storage onto commodity x86 servers enabling a building block approach with scale out capabilities and capex savings. NSX enhances security with micro segmentation and networking efficiencies while also reducing physical networking costs. VRealize provides full IT delivery automation for up to 40% increase in operational efficiency. The part which brings the exceptional value are the automation capabilities of VMware's Cloud Foundation delivered through the new component called VMware SDDC Manager. The SDDC Manager offers a fully automated lifecycle management, reducing time to spend during deployment, configuration, as well as upgrading up to 80%. Cloud Foundation can be consumed in a few different ways for a private or public cloud environments. The private cloud options are with the virtual SAN or vSAN ready nodes and networking from several different vendors as you see here. The second option for providing private cloud is to use the integrated systems such as our VxRail offering. For the public cloud offerings or as a service, currently is available in IBM software, and coming soon, it will be also available in vCloud Air, as well as vCloud Air Network for those vCAN partners. So this slide brings it all together for you, which shows you kind of a bulletized list of the target customer's needs, spotting the pain points and opportunities when speaking to the customer, how you would engage with the customer, the value of Cloud Foundation brings to them, and finally, why customers are choosing us. Now, I'm not going to go through and read all each one of these bullets, but as you can see here in the slide, it covers all this. So all the information that you need during a sales conversation with a customer or partner regarding Cloud Foundation and a very short bulletized list for you. So now I'm going to talk about the pricing and packaging aspects of Cloud Foundation. As we mentioned in an earlier slide, and as you see in the lower left-hand corner of the slide here, the private cloud offering of Cloud Foundation consists of essentially vSphere Enterprise Edition, vSAN Advanced Edition, NSX Advanced Edition, and the STDC Manager. Those four are the components which consist of Cloud Foundation. And then we also offer the ability to upgrade uh, both NSX and the vSAN additions to enterprise if the customer would choose to use some of those benefits and capabilities of the higher level additions. Or they can add on, say, the Horizon or vRealize suites to Cloud Foundation based on their needs. So if they're looking for more of the automation business operations, they can add the vRealize suite. If they're looking for virtual desktops, you can look at Horizon and app volumes uh, to help with um, deploying out of virtualized apps to their employees. So as you can see, it's very um, it's very modular in the way it's built and how you can add on. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. So even if a customer already has some of the core components of Cloud Foundation, they can simply just add on the needed components to complete the full Cloud Foundation. For example, if the customer already has vSAN and vSphere Enterprise licenses, then you simply just add the SKUs for NSX Advanced and the SDDC Manager. Now they will have the full Cloud Foundation. And then if they desire to have the enterprise additions of either NSX or vSAN, they can just simply add on the appropriate upgrade SKUs to go from the advanced to enterprise additions for NSX and vSAN. It's that simple. I just basically bolt on whichever SKUs to either upgrade NSX or vSAN or just to add on the SDDC manager, uh, whatever it may be. It's just very simply add that SKU on there. It's very modular. This slide reflects when the customers want to upgrade their vSAN or NSX advanced licenses to the enterprise editions to take advantage of those enterprise capabilities and feature sets I talked about in the last slide. As you see, upgrading the vSAN um, advanced edition offers, or excuse me, advanced to enterprise. As you see, upgrading to vSAN Enterprise Edition offers the added abilities to use stretch clusters as well as provide quality of service or QoS, which allows you to limit the amount of IOPS a single or certain VMs can use. That way, your business critical applications and servers, you can make sure that they are getting the amount of IOPS that they need and no other non-critical system can take that away from them. 
upgrading to NSX Ad Advanced offers the ability to then start using micro segmentation, which is what a lot of our customers are really liking about NSX and the capability that they're looking for. And then upgrading to NSX Enterprise offers multi-site configuration. So if you have multiple sites, you would need NSX Enterprise for that. Also VPN capabilities as well as remote gateways. In this slide and in the next few slides, it will show you how easy it is again to simply add or upgrade Cloud Foundation. It's as simple as adding the upgrade or additional SKUs. This one shows the upgrade from NSX Advanced to NSX Enterprise Edition. So they already have the Cloud Foundation, they just want to upgrade from that advanced to enterprise and NSX. So it's just simply the amount of CPUs that they need for the upgraded NSX enterprise. This one shows you the addition of the vRealize suite added onto the core Cloud Foundation. So again, um, the just add the vRealize suite enterprise for the number of CPUs, and there you go. That's all you have to do. And here in this one, we've added Horizon for Cloud Foundation add-on. So same thing, we had the core Cloud Foundation, but now we want to add the ability to do virtual desktops with Horizon View. So we've added the Cloud Foundation Horizon add-on. So that's going to be per concurrent users. This example shows where a customer currently has vSAN Advanced and vSphere Enterprise licenses, and they want to have Cloud Foundation. So you just add the SDDC Manager SKU, and then you add the NSX Advanced SKU. If they want to go to NSX Enterprise, then you also tack on that upgrade from Advanced to Enterprise. It's just that simple. And finally, in this example, they already have the vRealize Suite and vSphere Enterprise licenses. To get them to the Cloud Foundation, the core Cloud Foundation, then we just add the SKUs for the SDDC Manager, NSX Advanced, and vSAN, or Virtual SAN Advanced. So as you see, no matter what the customer does or doesn't already have in licenses, it's very easy to get them up to the core Cloud Foundation and then even past that by simply adding on whatever SKUs that are needed for those particular components that they don't already own. So it's that simple. So that completes this session on a sales overview of Cloud Foundation. I hope this session was very informative. Hope you have a better idea of what Cloud Foundation is, the components such as vSphere, Virtual SAN, NSX, the SDDC Manager, and how you can add on additional uh, software solutions to the Cloud Foundation, both for on-premise as, as well as our as-a-service based offerings, both available now on IBM Software and also in the future with vCloud Air and for VCAN partners. So thank you very much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you soon on another enablement session.